Hey guys! Before we get into today's video, I want to take a quick moment to shout out our business, Puffed. Puffed is our local bakery. We specialize in cookie top cream puffs. We've got a couple more menu items on the way, but for now we have three main flavors. Original with vanilla chantilly cream, cocoa with Oreo cheesecake filling, and matcha with matcha custard cream. So if you live in the Nova area, please visit our website at puffedup.com. Link will be in the description. Okay, now on to the video. Welcome back, my bears. Welcome to the channel. We're doing a Bubby Eats, but not in the way that I usually do, and that's pretty much because it's Corona, so we're not about to be filming inside a public space. But anyway, the place that we got here today, as you can tell from the title of the video, has been very widely talked about in the Northern Virginia Foodies Facebook group, and that's Rise Pizza. I feel as if the Facebook group is sort of divided, almost like a civil war kind of thing, where half of the people are saying that this is great, half of the people are saying it's god awful. We'll see which one is true. Small disclaimer, this was purchased a while ago, and so we had to drive it back through traffic, and so if it's not as good in terms of mouthfeel, I'm not gonna knock them points for it, because I do understand like we basically drove it an hour so it's not as fresh as it could be but hopefully that doesn't impact the taste experience too much so with me today i got my friend taylor here also hey known as studs fudley in my twitch chat <clears throat> twitch i do that pretty often you should go follow that as well if you Please. can <laughs> thanks <laughs> right so we got the uh their version of the meat lovers pizza which is basically um you know pepperoni you got some like sausage here mm -hmm. and whatnot. Bacon. Bacon, like a little bit. Here. I can't really tell. Honestly, I, okay. I really can't tell all that much, but it, I can, I can tell this is bacon, but the rest of it, it kind of looks like more or less the same meat. Uh, so this will be interesting. This is definitely the type of sausage that you can get at like a typical like New York style pizza place. Yeah, so Rise Pizza is a New York style pizza place. And so that's probably why they're trying to make it as authentic as possible. But you know what? This looks pretty good. They call it the uh, when when pigs fly pizza, when pigs fly pie. Pizza. Bro. The name will be on the screen. <laughs> anyway, that's that. And we also got the appetizer here. So let me show you all this. Uh, so the appetizer here is called a pizza egg roll. Very interestingly, it pretty much just has like cheese. And I think pepperoni inside, mozzarella as well, and uh, also got a marinara dipping sauce. So I'm very eager to try this as well. This was one of the recommended items for us. And then lastly, we do have, yes, the hotly debated cheese steak here. Now the cheese steak doesn't look too bad. I thought it would be a lot soggier, but it's actually I think survived the car trip pretty well, so. Somehow. That's a that's a good thing. Let's just get into it, right? You wanna jump right into it? I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna split one with you if you want some. I don't know, do you want some? I want a bite, just to see what it is. Okay. I just you don't know why egg rolls in there. I'm gonna one. dip this real quick. It looks like an egg roll. Hmm. That almost looks like a calzone. It's pretty much like a calzone experience, but the outside is definitely tastes like an egg roll. Like, it actually does taste like an egg roll. So, you can have a... Oh, can I see some dipping action, actually? Oh, look at that dip. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty much like a calzone. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have a little slice of pizza now. I'm gonna go for this pizza. So, 
It's not as like a, it doesn't have the same level of like floppiness as a pizza in New York does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's actually cooked a little bit more thoroughly? Question mark? Yeah, well, that's the right way to put it. Hmm, it's all right. For as far as like a New York style pizza goes, I think it's pretty good on the first bite. I'm gonna get a couple more bites though, just to like let it sink in. Hmm. I do wish it wasn't, you know, cooked as much as it is. I would prefer it to be like, just like a tad bit less, maybe like five minutes less. But other than that, flavor's pretty good. I'm gonna hand a slice over to camera person over there <laughs> onto your plate. So the reason I say this is because the dough is not the right kind of dough for it to be basically like crispy, sort of like, cause, cause like Italian pizza, right? Um, as far as I know from the chefs that I've talked to, Italian pizza is supposed to be burnt and really crispy, Yep. right? But this is not that, so it's basically cooked too much for what it's supposed to be. Could to you? the point that if, if they did cook it longer, it probably would have been better mm -hmm. and more crispy. You're thinking more sense. like the Sicilian style. Yeah, like a Sicilian like pizza. A thinner margarita crust pizza. Sicilian. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. actually Rise does have a margarita pizza. And so I'm wondering, you know, what that sort of experience is like. The toppings themselves are fine for the most part, but they don't really shine through, mm -mm. I would say. It all just kind of meshes together in a way that I feel like I'm just eating pork, you know? There's no like different blends here going on. It's pretty average in terms of like a New York style pie. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty good. It's not like it's not terrible, awful. as yeah. they said. Hmm. No, it's not awful. It's not the best I've had. The closer I'm getting to the crust, basically, it's getting more and more dense. Yep. And like, like a stale bread kind of feeling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The thing is though, what I've noticed is that they tried to go for the Sicilian, the burnt bits, mm -hmm. but it's not burnt enough. They almost didn't cook it to the point where it was burnt to where you get that, that crispiness, but like the fluffiness on the inside. This is just too dense. It's like trying to tear apart cardboard because like you really have to work to get it To get it apart. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like it tastes like it's a uh, Like stale, mm -hmm. right? All right, so now We got the uh, cheesesteak here and uh, With the cheesesteak it looks pretty good for the most part the lettuce looks a bit on the old side like this piece of lettuce looks a little bit sketch, not gonna lie, but I don't know, it looks, it looks all right. There's a lettuce shortage here, so. They that makes got sense. The, they, got, they probably got the rest of the lettuce. Okay, cool. Nice. So I guess we'll dive into this. I don't have a knife, so. Just gotta tear it apart. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling the bottom now and it's really soggy. It's really soggy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's soggier than I thought, okay. I'm just gonna like shove this tomato in there. I'm going to also tear. Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I Close <try>. enough. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's try this. Oh, that's bad as it looks. That's a pretty good cheesesteak. How's the meat? Is it seasoned well? It tastes a lot better than it looks. It's seasoned pretty well. Yep. I like the cheese that they used. It's probably the same cheese they used on the pizza, but for some reason, it, it tastes, tastes better much here. better on this than it does on the pizza. Probably because of the way that they season this meat as opposed to they mm. just kind of throw stuff on the pizza, you know? Mm. Man, this is messy. <laughs> really messy though, that's mm -hmm. for sure. As you can tell by the cheese, just dripping through. <laughs> I gotta say that this sub, even though it's called Rise Pizza, this cheesesteak is way better than their pizza. Yes. So, if I were to come back, 
Uh, I would love to try at least one of the other pizzas that they have. Uh, one of the more popular ones that they have, which they, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, pretty fly for a white pie. That's what they called it. <laughs> Clever. Uh, so I would want to try that, but if I do go back to Rise, I'm definitely going to get a cheesesteak. Now, is it a Philly cheesesteak? No, not even close. No. But it's pretty good. It's way better than what you would get at like Subway, for example. Mm -hmm. But sure. caveat, this sub is pretty expensive. So for its price, I think I would rather go to Subway. But for the taste experience, if you you know don't really mind about the cost, then this is a pretty safe bet. It was that much. Uh huh. Did you just check the receipt? I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So on the Noah's Foodies page, people complained about how expensive it was. Yeah, because this is not. How much, I won't say the price, but this is not that, you know, I would not pay that much to get something like this. If I'm going to pay that much, I'm going to Philly, and I'm going to a food truck. I'm going to drive myself <laughs> yep. all the way to Philly. I'm going to Philly, I'm going to a food truck, yeah. getting it right then and there, you know, just like back in back in the day when we all went to Philly. That oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to give them their credit, though, you know, they are a small business, so obviously yep. they can't price competitively. Uh, against like a like a Pizza Hut for example right so it makes sense that they're a bit on the more expensive side uh, yeah. but I don't know with with what I've had so far it's not enough to really push me or sway me to go get this as opposed to just ordering Papa John's agreed um, or even but, going to like Tony's or some of the other oh, yeah, pizza, right. some of the other smaller local pizza places that we have in this area that have multiple locations yes right. exactly right. You know, you can even go to Margarita Pizza or Pizza Rama or any other pizza place you can name that's closer to where we are. Average pizza. The subs are definitely better, but is it worth the drive? No. No. Absolutely not. Because <laughs> this would probably be better if it was fresh. Well, I mean, just like everything else, but. Aside from like the sogginess, yeah, like the overall taste good. was fine, but yeah. it's just not like. Mind blowing. Mind blowingly good. Yeah. But I guess now, if you guys on uh, in the Nova area have been wondering about this Rise Pizza thing because that's all anyone talks about on the foodies page, now you kind of have like a visual representation to give you that information. Because I was not on either side. You know, I was totally unbiased, unrelated to the conversation about Rise Pizza. You were the Switzerland. Yeah, <laughs> I was the <laughs> Switzerland. Uh, but from my perspective, it's a solid three out of five. Yeah, uh, yeah. Solid three out of five. It's not bad as people say that it was, but it's not amazing as people said it was. I think really for the most part, the people that are saying that's amazing are probably saying this because of how how friendly the owner is. Like he's actually a really nice guy. And uh, that's, that's probably why. Yeah, that's about it. Um, we tried everything that I got from them. I gotta say, final thoughts. I do wish that the cheesesteak was just a little bit cheaper because if it were then I, I would totally come here often yeah because cheesesteak is one of my favorite sandwiches to eat yeah I'm not disappointed with this just uh, it's a bit of a drive a bit expensive but anyway yep that's all for this video thanks so much for watching let me know in the comment section what you think about uh, this style of my like Bubby Eats series if you guys don't mind this kind of thing where it's just eaten at home here at my house and not inside the actual restaurant do let me know because uh, I've been missing making videos like this so anyway thank you all so much for watching comment like subscribe I'll see you in the next one take care bye guys